Pablo, you got a fish. Pablo. What's going on, guys? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the homemade medicine bottle chum rig. Stay tuned for more. I've made a chum rig out of a medicine bottle, and this idea was inspired by one of our active members and admins on our uh, Senko Skipper Fishing Community Facebook group. Um, anyways, he posted a homemade contraption like this, and I was like, wow, this is, this is really cool. This reminds me of the chum rig I used not too long ago, but this is homemade. So Steven Beach Boy Tang, thank you very much for the idea. Um, this is his first time trying it. So in here I filled it with fish guts, uh, grass shrimp, uh, dead blood worms, a bunch of nasty stuff in there, um, just to add more scent to it. So look, I'm gonna fill it with some grass shrimp here. There's like guts. Gut. Yeah, this is from this is from the other perch that we ate. And then there's like dead blood worms. Just fill it with some scraps, basically. Mm -hmm. Things that'll smell. So now the idea behind this is this will attract a whole bunch of different fish, but the fish cannot eat through these little holes. Mm -hmm. So what they do is instead of hitting that, they're attracted to this, but then they see this nice juicy blood worm and they'll hit the blood worm. Or, you know, it attracts little perch <clears throat> and then maybe a striped bass will see that a lot of perch are gathering here. I'm gonna try and eat one. Haha. Ha. Nice. Look at this. So this is how I put the blood worms on. Ooh. Careful, because these teeth come out. Wait, let me see. You see? Oh, uh, well, it, it's going back in now. It's okay. See, it went back in. So I like to hook it in like this. Just like that. Nice chunk. And this is why they call them blood worms. Look at my fingers. Yeah. Okay, so I've tied this on to a Paternoster rig. Mm -hmm. I've got a swivel here so it doesn't get all tangled up. Um, filled the inside of this with the chum. Let's give it a cast, see what happens. Oh, I hope the guy doesn't get stuck down there. Let's see it fast. Okay. What the back. heck? <laughs> <We're good. laughs> Ready? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, still draining. This bell will alert me if anything taps my line. This tube will hold my rod until I get a bite. And now I can start a fire, I can cook, I can hang out and wait for this alarm to go off. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh. Two perch. Two. On the chum bucket rig. Oh, those are oh great. Look at them. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Nice. Oh, those are like footballs. Look at them. So fat. Awesome. This is so cool. So this chum really did make a difference. Two at a time on the circle hooks. Perfect. Two keeper perch because of the chum rig. So in this rig I put um, fish guts, I put grass shrimp, I put a lot of nasty stuff in here. And it has attracted these two fish to eat. Well I guess. So I'm gonna fill this chum rig back up because I want some fresh new scent. And I've got like intestines, roe, 
All sorts of gunky stuff. <laughs> this will definitely attract fish. I'm telling you now. Cool. Pablo. Yeah. Pablo. Yeah. Nice fish fishing. I'll just uh He's on. I'm on. Yes, I did. Hey, Mom. You got something? I gotta go. This fish. I got another one on the chum rig. It's working really well. And the circle hooks work really well too. They just set themselves. Circle hooks are great for, for, not, gut hook, for not gut hooking fish. And you don't want to gut hook a fish because that'll kill them. Yeah, it's eight inches. Wow, honestly, I didn't think that it would be that quick I would start catching perch. But yeah, we're catching one after another, bite after bite. Um, only problem I see with the, the chum rig is that it is a little bit bulky, so it has been kind of stagging me a little bit, but I haven't lost it yet, and it's been, it's been great. If, you got, if anyone needs help on beach fishing or pier fishing, I want to I want to introduce you to our new store. It's in the link below. We specialize in helping people get on fish, so check out our store. Maybe we can help you guys. Uh, you know, uh, Brendan. <laughs> oh, we got two. What the? They, they weren't quite uh, hooked. Might have scared them off. You found it! Yes! My bells! Wait, she, <laughs> she found my bells. It's, you, you can see the color. I can't see that. I can't see it in the ground. Women have, women can see a, a broader spectrum of colors than males can. And I keep losing these bells, and either Aaron or Kayla find it for me every time. The regular rig is working too. But the regular well. rig is working too. It's just it's, I'm getting more bites on the chum rig. Yeah. So I just want to talk to everyone about if about keeping fish. So for me. I keep the amount of fish that I'm gonna eat. No more. Yeah, I keep the amount of fish that I'm gonna eat. Hold on, I'll just leave it for now. There's a circle hook, will be fine. So I only keep the fish that I'm gonna eat. If the fish are too small, I throw them back. You know, if I have too much fish, I throw them back. And I think that's important so that we can keep the population of our fish up. If everyone took all the fish they caught, we might not be fishing today. I got one, I think. The chum rig. 
Oh yeah, I got something for sure. Oh, nice one. Woo! Woo! That's a fat boy. That is a fat one. This chum rig with the circle hooks, I'm gonna make an episode just teaching you guys how to make this. Or you can check out Steven Beach Boy Tang. Uh, you can check out his channel. He's the one who taught me how to make this. Um, check his channel out if you wanna learn. But that's a nice size, dinner size perch right there. And now when you're fishing for like fish like this, perch, you're gonna catch a lot. And um, you're gonna catch a lot that are, over, that are undersized. What you wanna do is instead of use J hooks, which can get stuck in their stomach, maybe think about using circle hooks. Circle hooks are designed to not gut hook. It'll come out and just get hooked on the side of the mouth every time. So think about using circle hooks. But look at that. Um, I had such a good time catching fish and, and grilling it on the grill here um, and building a fire, hanging out, pitching a tent. It was a really great way to spend the day at the beach. Even though we didn't catch any of the big stripers we were hoping for, the migration just hasn't come yet. There was a cold snap three or four days ago and uh, sent a lot of fish back. Even though we didn't catch any huge fish, had a great time catching the perch. Those were really tasty fish. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you want to be notified every time we post a new episode, click the little notification bell next to the subscribe symbol. Thank you guys for watching.